Hello and welcome to the second day of the ECS 8th grade avian symposium. Our first presentation today, very exciting bird, in fact the national bird of our country. Uh, great presentation today, uh, coming all the way from the great state of Hawaii where he was born. Let's give it up for Mr. Andrew Pilar. Thank you. Okay, so my bird is, so the scientific name is Pelaleotus leucocephalus, which you all know as the bald eagle. So, so the kingdom is Amelia, which is basically all animals. Um, it's phylum, phylum, or phylum. It's chordata. Then it narrows down to aves, which is its class. And its family is a cypridae, which is ospreys and secretary birds, new world vultures, and falcons. And then its order, wait, yeah. And then its order is falcon forms, which are carnivores or birds of prey. And some birds that are closely related to the bald eagle are other eagles, for example, the stellar sea eagle. And then some other birds, hawks. Yes, the red tailed hawk. Buzzards and vultures. Okay, so, the bald eagle is 31 to 37 inches and has a wingspan of 7 feet, so that is very large. Okay, so, as you can see in this picture, the bald eagle has a white head and tail, as well as a black and brown body and wings, and then a yellow beak and yellow feet. And then, you can't really tell, but it's got a yellow eye. Then the juvenile bald eagle is, has a gray bill, and it is brown all over, and then has white spots throughout the body and wings, and has yellow feet, and eye is a brownish yellow. So male and female differences. They are both the same in appearance, but the only main difference is um, the female is slightly bigger, weighing around 16 pounds, and the male only weighing 10 pounds. Distribution. The bald eagle lives throughout North America, in the United States, Canada, Mexico, St. Peter, and Mechelon. The bald eagle prefers old growth forests and coniferous trees for their nests, and you can often find them near water, because that's where most of their prey lives. The bald eagle is categorized as a least concern, and their population is increasing um, as of right now. The population is 70,000, and the nesting pairs is a little bit over 5,000. So their mating system involves spectacular aerial displays of eagles diving and walking talents. The bald eagle is about five years old when it starts to mate. And they, the bald eagle only has one mate for life, unless their mate dies, then they find another one. They typically have one to three chicks, and um, the chicks stay with their parents 10 to 12 weeks, and then they depart, but they stay close to the nest until later when they're completely gone. Um, both parents provide care 
but the female mo does most of it, and they provide strong bonds to their nesting sites. So, the bald eagle lives an average of 15 to 30 years in the wild, and they live an average of 40 years in captivity. One in ten eagles survive to adulthood in the wild. That is very low percentage. Bald eagles do migrate. They um, migrate south in the fall and winter. Yeah, in the fall and winter. And for example, a bald eagle lives in Florida. They just stay year round. They don't migrate. So some depends depending on their location. They could migrate or they just stay. So, the diet of the body contains fish, waterfowl, like ducks and stuff, and small mammals. So, when the body eagle catches its prey, it uses its talons to dig and rip into the prey so it's impossible for it to escape, and then it uses its curved beak to tear the flesh. The bald eagle has no natural predators, and it's at the top of the food chain, but um, humans can be harmful to the bald eagle. For example, poisoning, electrocution, poaching, and, a blo and loss of habitat can all be um, concerns from humans. So, other human relationships. People love to look at the majestic bald eagle and love to watch it, but you can't, like, own a bald eagle or have, like, a fe- well, you could probably find a- you could have a feather if, like, on the ground, but you, like, can't take a feather from the bald eagle or, like, have a part of the bald eagle. So. And then, <coughs> BDT. The bald eagle hasn't always been a least concern. Starting in the 1940s, pesticides played a significant role in their disappearance. They, um, the poison of DDT was used to kill insects, and it moved through the food chain to, food chain to affect the eagles. Um, it did not kill the eagles, but it got rid of the calcium in the eggs, or well, like in the body, so then the eggs didn't have calcium, and the eggs need calcium. So then the shells cracked, and then that killed a bunch of eaglets inside. So, um, oh wait, oops. So then, um, 1972, DDT was banned once it, um, it was figured out that it was killing the eagles. And then, Protected Endangered Species Act of 1973 helped the bald eagle rebound, and that was the turning point. So now they're not endangered anymore. So now for some fun facts. <clears throat> so, the biggest bald eagle nest was 9 feet across and 20 feet tall. This is just like an example of a eagle's nest, but this is the actual one. And then also, the bald eagle is the national bird of the United States, so that's pretty cool. And, actually, juvenile bald eagles are bigger than the adult bald eagle. They actually decrease in size. And lastly, the bald eagle can be found on the corridor. You not, did not know that, that's cool. But and that's my side. Thank you. Questions. Questions. RG. Why did you choose this bird? Well, I chose this bird because it's fascinating and it's cool and it's um it's our national symbol and I thought that was cool. And we have a lot of bald eagles around, and we live on the lake, and you like see a bunch of eagles flying around and stuff, so that's why I should be. What, eight? Um, why do they get smaller in such a big Why do they get smaller? Like, why are the bigger juveniles than? Um, I am not sure. That's just how God made them. Question. Okay. Um, well, like, uh, you know, as you said, they had like the dolphin forms. Yeah. 
So, uh, my, the red tail is in the falcon forms, yeah. and like, the falcon form is broken up into different things, and it's like in the butos. Do you know which group the bald eagles are in? Like what group? Yeah, in the falcon mm -hmm. forms. Mm -hmm. In the falcon forms? The falcon forms is a family in Brazil. Go back to Go back to your third floor. Go back to your third Maybe it, was, it might have been in the Apadre or whatever. What was, what's your phylum? Phylum is Cordia. Cordia, yeah. Cordia, or whatever. Cordata, yeah. whatever. If you press escape, can you so go ahead and go to me? So there's Kingdom, Phylum, has that paper somewhere? Go to the chart. Isn't oh. the class? Yeah. Class is Aves, right? And then yeah, it's class is Aves, and then it's... Aves, right? Family is a Cibridae. Yeah. Cibridae. Oh. Yeah. It goes from Cordata to Aves, and then to a Cibridae. So... Oh, well, that's, that's a different chart than I saw. It must be. Yeah. And sometimes that stuff changes, too, because it's based on evolutionary relationships, but... Pretty much commonly, the common names of the three raptor families are your falcons, then you get your butios, which are the hawks, you got your eagles, Eagle which are the separatures, and then the falcon and formis, which are the falcons. You guys are the eagle. Yeah, it's in the, it goes like, it's, a, it's in the same category, but then instead of going off of that, it went into the eagle, and all those families go down instead in New Orleans. Oh, yeah, that's true, they did change that. Um, so you said only one in ten survive. Why is that? Why is that? Because the mortality rate is really high. What causes that mortality rate? Um, like, there's a bunch of things. There's, like, um, let's see if I can remember. Um, there's, like, well, this is, like, okay. There's, like, fighting between siblings that can cause them. And then there's, um, there's, man, like I had it in my paper, but I can't remember. Okay. Um, it's, it's like fighting with siblings and, and so it's suffocation, I think, huh. and like, oh yeah, infections and infections and stuff like that. So and, pre sick, and pre sickness and stuff. Predators like play no role, because you said no. that there's no predators, so even when they're they young, they don't have predators. Even when they're little guys, they don't have predators. When they're like born, they're not born. I guess you yeah. have to be. I guess you have to be pretty big to take on an eagle. Too. Yeah. Anybody else? Corbin. Okay. Was it hard to find uh, good sources just because like there's so much information out there on it? Um. Yeah, it was kind of hard to like narrow down and pick good ones. Any other questions? No. All right. Okay. Thank you.